Welcome back boys and girls, welcome back to another episode of Learn React in 2020. Welcome back to episode number 12. In this episode, as you already know, we are going to be adding really cool animations to our weather card to make it really, really, really kick ass. Alrighty, so without further ado, let's do it. So what we have now is that we can search and we get this weird loading text popping up and then we get uh, the card back. Now what I would like to do is add animation for that card when it shows up back again. And uh, one of the ways to do this, there are many uh, many kind of libraries for animating in React. For me, uh, Framer Motion is one of the best libraries, if not the best library. And the reason for this is because you can do everything with it and also the syntax is really, really clean and cool. So while I talk about it like this, I will go, I'm going to just install it, frame of motion, PM install frame of motion, and we are good to go. So while this installs, uh, I want uh, to kind of, I'm just going to give you a very ov a brief overview of how this works. So what you can do is you can have uh, a motion, you import a function called motion like this from frame of motion, and then you can declare a, a motion div literally. So this is going to be motion.div. And inside motion.div, you um, declare two things. You can declare actually more, but what we will be using here is two things. Animate and, um, and initial. Actually, initial is not here. But yeah, you can declare initial and you can declare animate. And then initial is going to be... I'm trying to find... Yeah, something with initial, yep. So um, initial is going to be the state at which that div is going to be. <clears throat> before it gets rendered on the screen and then animate is going to be animated to that state uh, kind of uh, automatically once it gets rendered so i will show you how we're going to use this we can we can do so many things with frame of motion to be honest i'm not gonna go into it but what's happening here is we are defining some kind of uh, variance so this is going to be different states for that div sometimes it's visible with opacity one and hidden with opacity zero and then you can pass the variance in like this and then you can say okay when you uh, initially when before you rent before you show it to the user once you render it is going to be hidden which is opacity zero but then later animate that into visible which is opacity one Okie okay, dokie, that sounds good. So this is just like um, a very brief overview of what we're going to use in off, um, off frame of motion. There's so many other things that you can go through and read. Um, okay, cool. So what I'll do here is I'm going to go to the weather card, weather card component, and uh, I'm going to wrap the card component itself in motion.div. So let's go to do that. So motion.div over here. And let me paste everything back in. And that will be weird because we haven't really imported motion. So let's do that. So import motion. Yes, and this is coming from frame of motion. That's it, happy days. So if I save this, there should be no changes whatsoever over there. Give it a second to compile. Yep, now no changes whatsoever. But now the magic happens when I define initial here. And then I can say something like, uh, the effect I'm going for is something like it, as if it's popping up from behind. So what I'll do is do uh, scale to zero when it's initial. So before, once it gets rendered, it's going to be scale zero. And then it's automatically going to be animated to scale of one. To scale of one. So let me save this and let's take a look how this will look like. And you can see this is popping up like this. Again, you can see how simple it is to just handle uh, like very neat animation like this in React. And like I said, there are other libraries. For me, this is the most like easy one and the most declarative one and makes code extremely readable. So I could actually do something like this, uh, 300, oopsie, 300. And I can say that Y when you're animated to zero and you will see this animating from, from down below there. And there's way more things that you could do here. So you could do X again equal 200. And you can jump over to the other animated side and say, bring it back to X equals zero. And yeah, there's so many things that you could do. Uh, I'm just gonna leave this at the very, very basic which is just going to be a pop-up motion from behind like this and we are good to go 
Okie dokie, oh, good. So that is the first thing we have now. So right now, when I uh, search for another uh, city, what happens is that I get this pop-up motion to show the card again. Now, the second thing I would like to pay attention to is actually uh, that loading state that shows up there. Now, I don't like that word loading. It's actually quite silly. But uh, yeah, it was just a placeholder. Now it's time to actually replace it with an actual spinner. And for this, you would usually be using a UI um, kit or a UI library, um, like framework. Yeah, I guess it's a library, which is gonna be material UI, chakra UI, there's so many of them. And usually whatever library you use comes with spinners that you can import and use. Right now, we are not using any UI libraries because I wanted to give you like the hardcore experience of writing styles and styling everything as you go and so on. Now, um, for this, we're gonna need to import something. And for this, I wanna use uh, React Spinners. And it's actually a really cool uh, package because you get all these k different kind of spinners and they're really cool. And the way you use them is, uh, first of all, you install it, of course, and then you can simply just import it. And you can, I think you can give it loading and that will just take it away, but we are not going to be doing this uh, actually. What we're going to be doing is, do you see over here in the code, let me just get this to be a little bit smaller, yep. Uh, I'm going to replace this loading word with whatever uh, loader we want. And let me first of all install the package. So let's do that quickly. npm install react-spinners. Happy days. And meanwhile, you can see here that you can change so many things actually with uh, the spinner itself and you can give it different uh, parameters and they actually look really, really cool, most if not all of them. So I think this one I like very much, Propagate Leader, Loader, sorry, and Pulse Loader is also really cool. So we're going to use Pulse Loader for now. So what I will do is I'm going to take this away. I'm going to make a Pulse Loader here like this, take it out and I will import it from something that's still being in, uh, installed, but who cares? I think it goes like this, it's uh, the default export, and then this goes up from React, um, yep, it's not installed yet, so React Spinners slash Pulse Loader, and that will give me the right import. Let me just check, yep, Clip Loader from React Spinners slash Clip Loader, and that should be good to go. Let me save this, and let's run this again, npm start, and uh, this should be good to go. Just give it a second. So instead of uh, the loading word, we should be getting that pulse loader. And to be able to inspect this uh, in more details, because it just, it, like automatically, it will flash for a little bit, and then it will get going. Uh, instead of doing that, I would like to see that, that uh, loading animation forever, like to, to inspect it. And for this, I'm going to uh, prevent the get weather a function from setting loading to false and then loading will always be true because we set it here to true and it will always be true. Now you can see it's kind of squashed on the top there and I don't like that. So what we will do is actually convert this div to display of flex or righty and then we're going to give it a width uh, yeah we're going to give it a width of um, I think it's 200 pixels that's the size of the card and a height a height of 240 pixels 240 pixels and then we're gonna justify things to be exactly in the center. So justify content and center and align items. Align <laughs> items, oh my God, it's so inconsistent. Align items, align items to center. Okie dokie. So that should put it in the middle right away. That's good. And then here also you can def uh, define a couple of props. So you could change the size of uh, this, I think if you do this, right? If you give it a size 20, so now it's a little bit bigger. I think uh, it was 15 or 10 or something that looked good. Yeah, I think now it really looks good, right? But then the color, I don't like that color, so I'm gonna give it a weird color, actually, you know. I'm gonna give it a weird color. Actually, nothing that really will, like, I don't know, just something that goes along. Yeah, I think that's all right. For now, it's fine. So now what will happen is whenever we go to the loading state, we are going to get that really cool loader. So if I change from city to city, I'm getting, I'm getting a little bit of loading and then I'm getting that uh, pop effect, which is absolutely cool, at least in my opinion. Okay, this is a wrong thing because it's not the correct city and you can see the loading happens and then this shows up. Okay, let me do that again. So, yep, okay, beautiful. So now we have uh, done this, which is uh, the pop-up of the card and we have also done the loading effect. Another thing I would like to show you also, another really, really cool effect 
is going to be the effect. I'm not sure if you have seen it before, but it's a real effect. So for this, we are going to go for React Real. It's a, it's a small package that you can see, uh, you can get this uh, real effect. Yep, this is the one. Of course, I will leave a link to all these packages in the description so you can go and read about them and um, know more about them. Um, but this is a very simple, actually, uh, this is a very simple package and I think it's uh, really cool as well. So what we'll get, the effect we get is this, which is going to be kind of a real effect like this. And the way this works is, first of all, we need to install it as well. So let's do that. npm install uh, react-real, happy days. While it installs, what you do is you render a component called real and you give it the text that you want to render. And uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't come with any themes. So you probably want to start with some sort of theme, uh, theme to get working from there. And that's what we are going to do as well. So let me just grab the, the theme that I have working. Basically, it's exactly this, but I've put it in uh, in JavaScript um, file or JavaScript like object instead of CSS format. And I'll leave that in the description as well. And where is that going to fit is going to be in the condition full file. Yep. So this is where we display the temperature. And for this, what I will do is I'm going to um, paste this here, which is going to be the real style. Okay, this is the real style. Let me just format this document. Yep, good. So what happened is I have actually already recorded this uh, this episode, but then something happened with my MacBook and yeah, things went to shit basically. And I had to reset the whole MacBook and clean and install, format everything and reinstall macOS. So a couple of things here are not really set up properly, but yeah. Anyway, now remember last time when we said it's a good idea not to uh, declare components within components like this. So yeah, just in terms of cleanliness, I'm just gonna take this out and uh, expo put it out here. And again, because this prettier is not really formatting on save. Let me just fix this quickly. So what happens here is that prettier is not really formatting on save. So I need, whenever I save the document, I need prettier to um, format it into the proper uh, format. So this is looking much better. Okay, the package is installed. So let me go npm start and let's go back here. Now what I will do is uh, again, very, very simple. I will use the real component and oopsie, the, I'll use the real component. And for this, I will give it a uh, text Yes, text. And for text, what I will do is I'm going to go to back ticks and I'll give it a variable called temp. And here I will simply just paste this from here to here. From here to here. Now real is not defined, which is absolutely fair enough. So let's import that. I think it goes like this from react dash real. Let me try. Uh, okay, so this is not exported, so it's actually the export itself, the default export, so this should work. Okay, good. Now, you see this is really not working at all. This is not what we want, and the reason for this is because there's no theme. And again, this theme here is basically the theme that uh, Knowles has put it. Where is the file? Yeah, here. This is the same theme here. This is kind of the standard theme, and then you can customize things over there for whatever you want to do. So you can simply just copy this and start with it, or you can copy this and start with it. It's exactly the same thing, and it comes from the library itself. So the way you apply these is going. You go uh, theme is equal to real, real style, and that will make it render properly, hopefully. Okay, okay, okay. This is looking good. Now I'd like to change the font family. Yep, font family to Fira code as we are using in most of the project. So go, I think, no, not Fira code, sorry, it's Fira sense. Yep, so this is the same as with this one. So Fira sense, that would give it the right font. That's beautiful. And for the font size, I believe if you change it here, things get a bit complicated. So actually, let me try. I don't think this worked last time. I think it's two rems, but I don't think this worked last time. Yeah, because then you have to play around with the rest. So I don't find this to be the best way. And instead, the easy way to do this is going to go, you put it in a div and from that div, you can control uh, kind of like general style. So here I'm going to go font size equals two rem and that will apply to this and look at it. It's awesome. I absolutely love that effects. Thank you very much, Knowles, for this. 
looks really really beautiful i love it so what did i do just now if i go here let me go there up oh, really yep you can see the effect running up there and it looks really beautiful okay so what we have done in this lecture is three things one we have animated the card uh, when it comes to live, when it gets rendered, so you can see the pop-up effect. And the second thing is we have done uh, this loading state. We have really customized it to look really good. And we've added this real styles. And you will find a copy of this here, the real style here. You find a copy of that uh, in the description. I will leave a link to everything that I've done here also in uh, the description. Thank you so much, guys, for listening. That was my phone ringing on my Mac. I'm sorry. Thank you so much, you guys, for listening. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.